Hey guys, so in this video we're going to create uh, this uh, pricing page. So let's uh, go on and the very first thing that we're gonna do is we're going to create uh, a new frame which uh, is going to be the desktop size uh, 1440 pixels of width and uh, we are going to just uh, lay the foundation by adding uh, a layout grid and uh, by doing this uh, we're going to have uh, something which is going to be usable for the developers as well since uh, in code uh, we're going to need this grid so what i like to do is usually divide it into 12 columns and uh, i'm going to select uh, a color which is uh, not too visible so that uh, it doesn't interfere too much uh, as I am creating uh, the design. I'm also going to add a little bit of uh, margin so that we have some uh, breathing room in between. So let's uh, go ahead and uh, we're going to create uh, uh, four rectangles right here. So let's just uh, duplicate this uh, just a few times. Uh, as you can see we have these uh, rectangles and then we're going to have uh, the fill and the uh, stroke uh, and we're going to add uh, just a little bit of a great color so right here let's just make it uh, with a light tint of blue just makes it a little bit less uh, um, monotone so let's go over here we're going to add a little bit also of a rounded corner to this just to make it more user friendly. So we have this base uh, and uh, what we're going to do next is we're going to create uh, the uh, text on the top which is going to be in this case start and uh, let's go ahead uh, we're going to use enter for this font by the way this uh, is actually a interface uh, which we are using and leveraging from uh, ls graphics uh, so you can see and you can find uh, the entire you like it uh, directly on uh, ls graphics website uh, so over here you're going to and i'm actually going to leave uh, the link uh, in the description so you're going to have all of that uh, uh, really easily so let's go on we're going to right free in this case we're going to increase the font size quite considerably so that it's uh, really visible and uh, now let's bring it a little bit more on the right and we're going to use uh, the line here below by the way you can use uh, also the auto layout feature in figma I prefer to just build them up uh, uh, like this uh, for these type of projects where we don't really have uh, any clients uh, uh, involved with uh, which might require that specifically. Um, I do however use auto layout in quite a bit uh, of projects, it really depends on, on the deliverables. Let's say for these type of projects we are pretty set uh, like that. So let's write here some text. For this and uh, now we're going to use some uh, icons and uh, specifically the icon um, app which I like to use is Nucleo and uh, basically this allows us to easily search for the icons so I'm going to write uh, check and uh, we're going to browse through a few of these uh, options that we have uh, at our disposal and uh, we're probably going to go with uh, this first one right here this circle so as you can see it's very big but also one thing to notice is that uh, as you're going to drop it um, it's going to be a frame but uh, we can easily unframe it by using shift command g and then we're going to you click on k in order to access the scale tool and we're going to make it uh, smaller just like that and uh, here we have uh, our very first uh, bullet point and uh, now let's uh, go ahead and let's make it uh, a little bit darker gray and uh, now we're going to make components out of this so we, if we want to change it at any given moment in the future we can easily do so so just change it into a component I'm going to duplicate it a few times 
by using shift and then command uh, D in order to uh, duplicate it in the same uh, vertical axis. I'm going to write feature two over here. I'm going to, to write uh, feature three on this one. And we are pretty much uh, sorted when it comes to the first one. Now at this point, uh, what we're gonna do is we're going to add a button at the very lower section of this and uh, let's go ahead and add a stroke to this one as well and I'm actually going to use option command C and then option command V in order to duplicate this uh, style right here now let's duplicate this one as well let's bring it to the top I'm going to rename this to button and let's increase uh, the font size uh, just a little bit and uh, just before we move on uh, I also want to remind you that I recently launched uh, a subscription where you're going to have uh, all of my courses so over 40 hours of courses which I built over the last uh, couple of years for just nine bucks a month which you can cancel at any time and this is going to enable you to learn pretty much all of my strategies uh, both uh, for um, the design theory, how to get into UI, UX design, uh, uh, all the design softwares, but especially how to find uh, high paying clients, how to sell to them the correct way, and even doing uh, uh, usability testing uh, and uh, also the Webflow modules coming up. So if you're interested in learning uh, and leveling up your design career, feel free to have a look. Uh, I'm going to leave that in the link in the description, but now let's move back uh, to the actual um, design over here. So we're going to have this button and we're going to add a placeholder on uh, this uh, right uh, section. So let's bring it over here. I'm going to use the same color. Let's give it just a, a rounded uh, um, shape. Let's add uh, some uh, text which we're going to have uh, here below. So over here we're going to add uh, the lower section. So let's make uh, the text uh, smaller. I'm going to use uh, just some lorem ipsum text, uh, which uh, happens to be this one right here. It's a little bit too long, so let's just uh, make it smaller. And I'm going to shrink the width just a bit. Let's increase the vertical height of this. We're going to bring it right here, make it just a little bit uh, darker and uh, that's gonna just make it easier for us to can, like see what's going on. And uh, we're going to select uh, all of this uh, and uh, let's group it. And here we have uh, the very first uh, column. Now at this point, what we're gonna do for the sake of convenience is we're going to remove all of these other rectangles, we're going to group this, and we're going to create a duplicate by using Shift plus the Option Alt key. We're going to duplicate this, change the different labels. I'm going to write business on this one. Special. Now let's add uh, the different uh, uh, values for the, or actually the different pricing ranges for the monthly subscriptions. So here we have the very first one and I'm going to duplicate this one uh, to the next, just like that. I'm trying to match the different uh, um, size in between. Let's write $78 for this one. <coughs> and we have uh, our base uh, going. Now we're also going to add a some uh, more details over here. So we're going to bring this one down. We're going to write charging uh, 
$458 per year. And uh, let's go over here. We're going to duplicate this uh, also to the very next column. But before we do that, uh, let's actually add uh, one more feature. And uh, let's write feature four. And we're going to basically select all of these elements and then go over here, duplicate this, increase the size uh, just a little bit. And uh, on this section right here, what we're gonna do is we're going to create uh, the popular version. So let's go ahead. Uh, we're going to make this uh, in uh, a orange box. Let's remove the stroke. We're going to <clears throat> basically double click on this uh, and uh, remove uh, the corner radius. And uh, here we go. All right, now let's uh, duplicate this. Oops. And uh, let's uh, add the popular version on the top section. Popular. Let's increase the boldness. And let's increase the size of the text uh, as well. All right, so we're almost done with this. The next thing that we're gonna do is we're going to make this one white, uh, this one white as well. Change the tech the color of this uh, button and uh, increase the opacity on this one. We're going to write uh, under the special, we're going to make this one uh, within a different color, which is probably going to be this one right here. So just light gray, but still with a tint of blue. And uh, we're going to add a symbol, which is, still, which is still going to be for nucleo. So we're going to use this uh, symbol right here. And uh, let's add it over here. And what we are missing now is just uh, the top level menu. So let's add that one real quick. And uh, we are pretty much sorted out uh, with uh, the structure for this. So let's write monthly and annually. Let's go over here. And let's make this one go all the way to the center. Center this one again. And we're going to change the color of this, duplicate the actual line. And uh, let's bring it over here. Increase the stroke size just a little bit. Bring the monthly to be center aligned and uh, the annually as well. All right, let's remove the layout grid. And uh, this uh, is the final wireframe for this uh, pricing page. So hope uh, you enjoyed this tutorial and uh, I'll see you in the very next one.